right, so you've ordered your bank ship, Billy. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get, well, obviously a cool box, but you're gonna get the uh, clutch controller itself. These guys are serialized. You're gonna have your wiring harness here and your hydraulic assembly with the uh, solenoid. This one is the slippernoid, but they all have their own individual names. You're also going to get a bleeder kit. Uh, this has got all the instructions in it. If you have a favorite way of bleeding your clutch, do that. You don't have to use this, but this is here to help you as well. And instructions. That's right, QR code. We're hip with the times. We do update these occasionally, so you're going to have the most up-to-date version um, in here. If you've bought the uh, clutch controller and it's been a while since you're going to install it, always double check the instructions. Make sure there's no updates. Oh, and, and don't forget, bubble wrap. You're going to get that too. Step number one, you need a clutch switch. You're going to have a couple options here. You can use the OEM clutch switch, <clears throat> which is okay, or you can use the one outlined in the directions, and I'm going to show a picture of it here. In our test bench, we just have a simple push button switch, but to get the idea of the way this is mounted, because you're gonna to need to mount this in your car, is you need it mounted so that it's at the very bottom of the clutch pedal stroke. It's pushed and it's released. You can actually hear it working too. That's step number one, mount your clutch switch. Okay, now it's like Christmas. You're going to take your controller out. you got to figure out where you're going to mount this. Ideally, you want to mount it in the car, not under the hood. And if you can mount it in a place where you can see the lights, that would be nice. And you've got your wire harness. So this is all aviation grade wire and connectors. <clears throat> this plug obviously goes into the controller, like so. Clicks in there. This is a Deutsch connector. Um, and as far as wiring it, everything's labeled on the wires. You're not going to be able to see it on the video, but it says TBSB, what's that one say? Uh, green is master. Red is going to be power, it says TBSB for the bank ship Billy. Power, ground, <clears throat> 12 volt out, and trigger. And then you've got the two wires here that are going to connect... To your valve underneath the hood okay and this is going to get wired these are dash 4 an connectors okay so for the wiring again pretty obvious red 12 volt power key on 12 volt power black good clean ground same for power. You want a good clean ground. If you can run these to your battery, even better. And then the most important, well, really the three that you need to make this guy work is then the trigger wire. This is all in the instructions, but the trigger wire needs to go to the clutch switch. So the way this needs to go is 12 volts on one side of the switch and the trigger wire on the other side of the switch. When the switch is pushed, this provides 12 volts to the controller. And when it's released, when you dump your clutch, you could hear it go through the delay and everything. When the 12 volts goes away, <clears throat> that's when the controller sends the signals that you've programmed in on the app to the clutch. All right? Okay, so on a carbureted car or a car with a OEM ECU, or maybe even just an aftermarket ECU, <clears throat> you may want to use the master switch feature. So on the app, you have the master switch. If it's off, you won't be utilizing the green wire and the system will work every time you push the clutch switch. Maybe not ideal. Um, <clears throat> and one quick way to make sure that the app is in fact communicating with the controller is come up over here. <clears throat> Whenever you make a change, the green power wire will flash indicating that it's accepted the change. And the quickest way to do that is just hit the master switch button. When you hit it, it's gonna flash. Did you see that? So master switch on, master switch off. You can see the green light here flashing. On, off. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and utilize the master switch. Um, I have it set up here on a toggle switch. In your car, 
I'd like to see you have a momentary switch, very similar to the clutch switch I have here, but on the steering wheel, almost like a trans brake button. And the way that will work is if you have it off, but you have master switch selected on in the app, when you cycle the clutch, nothing's gonna happen. But when you're ready to launch the car, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. You're gonna push the clutch to the floor Imagine with me this is a momentary switch. Click it, on and off, launch the car, and the clutch controller does its thing. It will not activate again until you have the clutch switch pushed and you toggle the master switch. That's it. That's how the master switch works. So if you have it off, like for street driving or whatever, it won't work <clears throat> until you actually set it up with the clutch pushed and you toggle your master, or click your master switch, and it's gonna wait until you're ready to launch. Boom. So basically, you could do your burnout, get the car bumped into the lights, clutch all the way to the floor, click your master, and it's ready. And then you launch, and it's gonna activate the clutch controller, and away you go. Okay, we have it up close with Bill. All right, so during the process of doing all this, um, something I want you to pay attention to, and that is the sound of the coil being pulse width modulated or PWM'd by the clutch controller. And you can check this by just pressing the clutch switch. You don't even have to actually cycle the clutch. So I want you to come in close so you can hear this. I'm just gonna push the clutch switch. And this is one way to verify that everything's working. You hear that? That's this being PWM'd. That means your clutch switch is wired correctly. Everything's going to be working correctly. Okay, so I just wanted to show you on um, my car kind of how the Bank Ship Billy is set up. It's running through the Holly Dominator. So if you look down here on my screen, I've got keys on right now. This light will indicate when the Bank Ship Billy is operating and I have the controller is mounted back under here. Um, so when I push the clutch to the floor, and my miles per hour is less than three, which it is, and the throttle is greater than 90%, so you can watch the TPS right here. As soon as we go greater than 90, Bankship Billy is active. It is ready to activate the clutch controller. So when one of those three things goes away, in this case, when I dump the clutch, it will activate and you'll hear it. And that's all it is. So that's how it's set up for the Holly Dominator. That's all in the instructions. Um, and that's how I have it set up here.